Hello guys, and welcome to another, I hope I did post this second, another Dragon Quest medley song in Beat Saber. We're doing Dragon Quest 3 next. If I can find more that are doable, I'll do it. But this one's 12 minutes long, it's a lot more manageable, so hopefully more people can watch this and not worry too much. Ugh. But anyway, why don't we just go ahead and get started? I have no idea what it's like at all, I didn't even test this out. The sword. All right, start with the overture. I wonder how much imagery is going to be in this, if any. Because we saw a sword. But for all I know, there isn't. Yeah. I don't know if there's as much imagery as there was in the Dragon Quest IV one. But if it's not, we're still going to enjoy the music. I hope it has some, other than the swords, but we'll find out together. Menu theme. The tones are slightly off. It's like a different octave. Do, 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 do. Na, na, na. It's basically the default menu theme for Dragon Quest these days. I think the only exception was Dragon Quest 2. Okay, here we go! Town theme, one of them. Whoop. Do, do, do. Yeah, it's when you're first in a lie hand. I think that's how you say it. Also, I'm missing a lot more, probably because my arms are getting tired. I'm recording this. Ooh, there's some fun stuff in this background. I'm recording this right after the, in the Dragon Quest 4 one. Outside. Overworld theme. <laughs> one of the, one of the nicer overworld theme, like, most overall themes are pretty damn good. I won't lie. This one is a very brassy one. Mm -hmm. Though I actually like Dragon Quest II's music more than V's, even though V has some good music. I mean, it has one of the best boss themes. I mentioned that when I did my Dragon Quest Treasures playthrough. All right, we're in the forest area now. I'm trying to catch the details. It's a little hard. Honestly, I can't wait till Dragon Quest 12 comes out. I wonder if they're, how they're going to do the music since uh, the original composer has passed on. Not to mention he had some interesting views. But I like him for- I only like his music. It doesn't mean I have to like his world views. And he was a talented composer. So. There's no doubting that. Not many composers would work on video games. Ooh, we're in the cave! I wish they had more Hayden, uh songs on Beat Saber 2. Because he does, like, vocals for Dragon Quest and other video game music. Including Final Fantasy. Including the female voices, which are amazing. I think he did a parody of We Got the Beat with Dragon Quest IV characters. That's pretty good, too. Mm -hmm. I feel weird with the ground, like, coming at my waist. Ah. I'm definitely still out of practice, though, in this with this. Also, tired arms. Okay, the theme, overworld theme, is definitely going on a bit here. I mean, don't get me wrong. There is, I guess, the variations you could do on it. I don't know. It didn't feel like there was as much music in different music in Dragon Quest Three. 
But then again, I don't play that as much as I do 4, 5, and 6. Come on. We're already one third of the way through. First battle theme. Now, this is one of the good songs. One of the better th battle themes, too. Flime! I hit it with this saber. Oh, shit. I don't think it fell down. A wall? I'm guessing that was supposed to be a spell. Maybe this is the first project over Dragon Quest IV. Who knows? Oh, shoot. Yikes! Dodge it. My dodging skills are not very good right now. Hey ah, I messed that up. But yeah, this is one of the cooler battle themes, though I, my favorite still is fives. Hey ya! You know, I know there's the MMORPG in VR that that I kind of want to play, but at the same time, I'm like, I don't know if I want to be obsessed with a MMORPG. On a VR headset, I'd be dizzy all the time. Okay. Cross strike! I don't know if it hit matters hitting them, but do it for fun. Alright. Uh, six minutes left. What are you going to add in here? Village music? Oh, Olive Guard music. The old world, when you're in the dark world, I should say. Basically, Dragon Quest 1 music, in a way. But remade. Surprised they didn't do Ramia's theme. Though, they might. If they do the thing with the balloon trick, though, uh, I'm going to probably lose it a little. <laughs> That's why some of this is probably ruined and dark around here. Man, the things people can make is amazing. All right. I hope they don't go too long on this theme because I'm okay with the reference, but not my favorite overall theme. All right. Is this final battle or what? Oh, Ramia's theme. There it is. I guess these are representing clouds. So this is definitely made before Dragon Quest IV. Because that one was very well designed. And this one is a little bit more basic. Not that it's an issue, but I like this. Hmm. Hmm. This remix is a little grating, I'm not going to lie. Like, the notes are a little bit squeaky. I almost feel like I'm sailing in a way, too, here, because this feels like water. But I guess it's supposed to be blue sky. If I had the patience, I would be making charts like this all the time. But I really just can't see myself spending the time on it. So I appreciate those who do. I mean, I made a couple of DDR charts in the past, but it take, took so much time. And I have other things I want to do with my time, usually. This is giving me the balloon vibes a little bit, except without rising in the air. I will look for more of these, though, see if there's any others, because it's very rare to find Dragon Quest stuff on here that's actually pretty good. And at least visually, this is really good. And also a bit of a stamina, a low-key stamina thing. Ah. But this is nice. I haven't played Beat Saber in a long time. I'm enjoying this. Even if it's not completely relaxing.
I'm definitely putting off some food that I was going to eat <laughs> after work, though, right now. <laughs> All right, battle theme. Yep. This is definitely... Zoma. Or... Is this one Zoma or Baramos? Because Baramos starts with something. I think this is Zoma. I wonder if we're going to have spells that flung at us, too. Or walls, I should say. But this is one of the... Yeah, I think this is Zoma theme. This is one of the best boss themes they have. And which is why it was reused in Dragon Quest Treasures, I assume. There's three of my favorite boss themes. Dragon Quest VIII's final boss theme. Dragon Quest III's boss theme. And Dragon Quest VI's mur first real Murdoff fight music. Ooh, this picked up well for the remix. Awesome. Nice guitar. Yeah, I'm definitely missing a lot because my depth perception's a little off here. I can't do some of the songs I used to do, that's for sure. After some practice, I probably might be able to. Okay, but I'm planning to do more of these Soon, whether in stream format or video format. Assuming I don't get copyrighted claim to uh, extinction or something. I don't mind if they want to take credit or something. Because, like I said, I don't monetize my videos. At least not at this point in time. Ooh. Nice. Credit theme. Pretty good uh, ending theme, but Dragon Quest 2, I think, had the best ending theme. Or at least one of them. 4 comes very close for the best ending theme, but I found 2 more enjoyable when it comes to ending themes. But awesome! And that was Dragon Quest 3. Oh, we actually got a high score, because custom notes weren't in this one. Awesome! I don't know. I think they did Ko Koichi Sugiyama a little wrong there. I think that's saying Koichi. I thought it was Koichi, but whichever it is. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If I find any more, I'll be posting them. At this point in time, I don't have any, though. So for now, I'll see you next time.